If you want to make Sudoku solving easier, I'll show you a secret technique that you can use to solve more Sudoku puzzles without making any pencil marks. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. You might notice that we have four different nines in this puzzle. So let's do some solving with the nines. These two nines, the only place a nine can go here in block seven is right there. And then with these two nines, you can solve for a nine in block two. And with these two nines, you can solve for a nine here in block four. Greetings, friend. This is round six, puzzle two from the 2024 Sudoku Grand Prix. While solving it, I'll reveal my secret technique for solving puzzles without marks. It's gonna make them easier and you're gonna reduce your solve time. Look here with the twos. You might notice you have a two in row one and in row three, you have a two down here in column six. So there's only one place to put a two in block two. And then with this two here, there's only one place to put a two in block seven. We got a bonus tip for you. Might notice that you have this two cutting across row four. So where are the twos? They can only be in one of these two spots here in block six. I'm just going to highlight that, represent the twos. This is called a pointing pair. Since the twos have to be somewhere in block six and they're restricted to these two cells, two cannot be anywhere else in this column outside the block. If you put a two here, you'd have no place to put a two in block six. So we can use that information to know that a two cannot be here cannot be here because of this two, and it cannot be in these cells because of these twos. So the only place we can put a two is right here. Now that's kind of a little bonus tip for you. You do want to extend your cross action using pointing pairs, but that's not the secret technique I'm going to show you. All right, let's look at where the eight can go down here in block seven. You might notice you have an eight in column one, you have an eight in column three. So the only place an eight can go is right here. And that leaves us with two cells remaining. We need a four or a seven. I'm going to color those in orange because this kind of leads to the technique. And so you might notice is if we can solve in these columns a four or a seven, then we can come back and finish block seven. But we don't have any fours or sevens in column one or column three at this time. Can we change that situation? And the answer is yes. If you look at where this seven goes right here, you can put a seven in this spot. And so now you have the ability by just adding one more step to go back, put a four here and put a seven right there. And now you want to notice is with the ones, you got this one right here. You got a one cutting across row three. The ones are also going to be a pointing pair. And like I say, they're going to extend or solve a little bit. Did you have ones, as a pointing pair here, this can no longer be a one. And this cell can't be a one because of this one. So you can actually solve for one in block four right there. And before I move on, I want to hear from you. Did you spot this pointing pair of ones and are able to make a solve here in block four? Let me know in the comments. Help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. The only way it happens is by my viewers sharing their comments and feedback to help other solvers. And I appreciate your comments. I respond to each and every one. And now we can actually finish this column three by putting a three right there. That's the only thing that goes there. And now that we filled in more cells over here, we can finish up block four because this three can only go in this spot, leaving a four here in block four. Now I want to show you a bonus tip. This is going to be my neat naked triple trick. You might notice you have a two, three, six, seven, eight, nine in column one. All you need is a one, four, and a five. Well, you'll see here that the four and the five are both in row two, and then the four is repeated in row one. When you ever have this situation, you need to solve all three cells. Two of them look at one of the cells. So that means a four and a five can't be here. And then one of those repeats in another cell, you can solve all three. This has to be your one. The only place the four can go is right there, and then this cell is a five. You may notice that now we have three more cells solved in block one. And we have a one, two, three, four, five, and eight. We need a six, seven, and nine. If you look over here though, you see one nine, and you see one six. We don't have any sevens, and neither one of those is repeated. We do not have enough information 
to solve the rest of this. But we're going to remember that you need a 6, 7, and 9 there. And can we add on more solves to help us figure this out? If we do, we're really just one digit away from solving all three of these cells. And the way to do that is actually follow these fives first and see that you can solve for a five over here in block three. And then come down here in block six here. You have a six here and you have a three there. Where can three and six go in block six? They have to be in these two cells. So I'm gonna highlight that. Since the three and six are limited to these two cells in block six, they form a hidden pair. Hidden pair is one of the seven strategies I cover in my free Sudoku solving guide. You can download it. I just click on the pin comment below. It's my gift to you. You need it right here to know if we can solve one of these for a three or a six, it'll give us some more information that we'll be able to use to finish up block one. And the way we're going to be able to solve this is you actually look here in row nine. This is pretty tricky to spot. That's why I wanted to point it out to you. You have a two, four, seven, eight, and a nine in row nine. We need a one, three, five, and a six. So look at this cell here. You have a one, you have a three, and you have a five. This is a naked single six. So you can solve that for six. And since this is a three or six, we found one of those digits. You can now solve this for six and solve that for a three. So just by finding that one more cell, one more digit, we're able to make these solves. And now this is going to push us up here in the block three. You have these two threes. We can solve this cell for a three. And then you have this seven. Can't be in these cells. It has to be right there. Notice there's only two cells to solve here in block three. We need an eight and a nine. If you glance over, you notice an eight right there. So now we got the eight here and the nine there. And so this is pretty cool. Like I told you, we were just one digit away from solving all three of these cells. We needed a either a six or nine repeated, we need a, you know, a seven or two. Well, we got that nine, six repeated here. We have this nine. We can now solve all three cells in block one. Because this has to be your seven, the only place a nine can go is right there, and this is gonna be your six. So you can learn more about my neat naked triple trick in this tutorial. Okay, we're gonna remove the colors there, and you'll notice that we only have one digit remaining. So we have two threes in rows one and three. This has to be a three. You actually cannot solve these four cells yet, right? And the reason why, if you look and see, you got a two and a nine already in the block, and the only digits feeding into it are twos and nines. You do not have enough information to solve that. We'll have to come back later. But we do have more information down here to fit, do more solving in block nine. Anytime I see a full house where eight of the nine digits are filled out, I know I can solve for certainty the last digit that has to be a four and you might notice that you have an eight that cuts through all those digits and cells and so the eight has to be right there so now we've created another naked triple you know you have a one five or a seven that we need to solve here in block nine and you might notice okay i got a five here i got a one there i got a seven i don't have repeats so if we can possibly get one more digit down here, we'll be able to solve all three of these. And so the answer actually lies up here in row five. You only have three cells remaining, a two, three, and a four. You might notice that a three can't go here because of this three. It can't go here because of this three. So this has to be your three. And now with these two threes and these two threes, we can solve for a three here in block eight and now you just restricted what can be in row nine right you have a two three four six seven eight nine we need a one or five well i have my five right there so i know i can solve that for a one and now we add the one with this one and this seven we have enough information we're just one step away from solving all three now you have the information you can solve all three because this has to be a five the only place the one can go is right there and this is going to be your seven so the secret technique, I've been showing it to you, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. I call it the one step restriction. And what that means is when you're doing no mark solving, you get to a spot where you notice that you just could eliminate one more candidate, or if you could just find one more digit to look into a cell, 
then you are going to be able to solve that. And so what you do is you find those one step restrictions, you know, two cells, three cells in a row, go and see if you can find the information to add one more solve. And once you do that, go back, you're going to unlock and be able to solve those blocks, those rows, those columns, those cells that were just one step away from being solved. And this is going to improve your solving significantly because you're going to just remember, hey, I need to find, you know, just one more digit. I just need to find one more can to eliminate and then I can solve all three. And once you solve it, you can move on to the next part of your solve. And so right here, we got one more triple here. I'm going to highlight that. You have a one, three, six, seven, eight, nine. You need a two, four, and a five. You notice you have a two here, a four there, and a five there. If we can just get one more digit repeated, here in block five, we'll be able to solve all three of these. And so you want to look and go, can we do that? And it'll start down here actually in row eight. You'll notice that the five in row eight can only go right there. It means that has to be an eight. And now you look here in column four, you have a one, three, four, five, eight, nine. You need a two, six, and seven. Well, this cell can't be a two because of this two. Can't be a two here because of this two. So this has to be your two. And now the two repeats with the four. You have another two up here. Neat naked triple trick. We're going to be able to solve all three. You're going to unlock block six because this has to be your five. Only place the two goes right there. And this is going to be your four. All right. One step restriction. This is a key technique. You can do all kinds of no mark solving, a little bit of working memory. And just knowing that once you're one step away, you want to solve it once you get that one step figured out. These four, we can solve this cell for a four. And then we can now use these fours to solve for a four right there. We just need, looks like a six or a seven. Looks like we're one step away from that. So we're not going to be able to solve that just yet. But we did add some more cells in here. And it's going to help us with our solving. So you can look up here, what do you need? We got a two, three, four, six, eight, nine, you need a one, five, and a seven. Five and a one right here, five repeated. You know it, that's gotta be your seven. Five can only go right there, it's gonna be your one. And now we have enough to unlock the rest of this puzzle. Because we were missing the seven down here, but you got the seven there, so that's gotta be your seven, and that's gonna be your six. And then with these sevens and this seven, we're going to have enough information to finish block two now because that's a seven that's going to be an eight i don't see an eight down here so you just go immediately with the last solve digit go down and see if it goes in the adjoining block it's a very quick way to get another easy solve that's got to be a six i go up here no six and then our last digit is going to be a one now see if you can use my secret technique to solve this next puzzle without marks thank you so much for watching